So today, uh, I want to uh, uh, I want us to go to the ninth chapter of the Gospel of John and uh, look at one of the miracles of Jesus, John chapter nine. Uh, using this story, I want to highlight uh, uh, certain things uh, in the uh, for us today, and I want to do this in, in the form of four word questions. The first question is why. Second question is what. The third question is how. And the fourth question is who. So why? And you find this in the very beginning of the story in John chapter 9 verses 1 and 2. So when the disciples of Jesus see this blind man, their first reaction, like many of us would uh, ask, their question is why was this man born blind? Why? It is very important for us to understand, and I'm, I'm giving a, a, a summary of what the Bible presents to us to this why question. We need to understand the, the, the three important things. One is the presence of sin, second, the presence of Satan, and third, we must understand the process of decay or death. So that helps us answer the why question. Let's move on to the second part, what? So they ask the question why, but then Jesus responded by saying, what? So what Jesus is telling us and is teaching us is, don't worry so much about the why. What you and I need to be looking at, given the times in which we are living, is what must I do? Not so much as to why, but what must I do? What must my response be? And Jesus clearly showed us our response must be simply this. I'm going to step in and cause the works of God to take place. So wherever sin, Satan, and decay and death have left their trail, have left their impact, what must you and I do? What should be our desire? What should we, our response be? We must step in and say, I'm here to work the works of God in this situation. We know there is sin. We know Satan is at work. We know there is the process of decay. It's there and it's going to go on until God changes these things in Revelation, the 20th chapter. Until the such time, these things are going to go on. And so, in so worrying about the why, what you and I must do in every situation, he should say, what can I do? How, uh, what are the works of God in this situation where we can undo the effects of sin, Satan, and decay? Very interestingly, as you continue on the story in John chapter 9, there's this big question of how. And uh, this question was asked at least five times. You, you see this in, in, in this chapter. And all five times, it was the religious leaders asking, how but you know the underlying thing to this question is not so much about the method that jesus used but their questioning was about the man because you know he already told them you know he made clay he put on my eyes and he told me to go wash in the pool and i came saying so they understood the method their problem was not so much with the method but with the man and the fact that you know it didn't fit into their frame of understanding so uh, they couldn't dispute the miracle uh, because uh, the man said, you know, all I know is I was blind, I can see. You can't question the miracle. But uh, their question was, how? How could this man do it? You know, and uh, the Pharisees that day didn't get the answer because they were unwilling to see the answer. And lastly, uh, so that was the how. And lastly, Towards in John chapter 9, towards the end of that chapter, after the Pharisees have uh, cross examined this man, and this man was just firm in his, uh, his conviction, he said, You know, I can't tell you much about who the man was who healed me, but one thing I can tell you once I was blind, now I can see. I can tell you how he did it. He told me to go wash in the pool, come back. But I can't answer your theological question or what qualified the man to do it because I don't know who it is. 
So the works of God lead us to an encounter with the God who works, Jesus Christ. The works of God lead us to an encounter with the God who works, Jesus Christ. And that's what happened to this man. The who question was answered for him. He now knew who was the one who he was really the one who touched him and healed him. This was the Son of God. 